Hey all, welcome to Shattrek. This is Raj here. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed your weekend very well. Uh, today I want to give you a very high level comparison of the three major gene editing technologies. We are looking at the difference between CRISPR-Cas9 uh, editing, uh, base editing and prime editing. I think that as investors in genomics, it would be rather silly, uh, like if we were in a party and someone were to innocently ask us a question, what is the difference between these technologies? And we are unable to answer. So I was thinking about this uh, before I started doing this video. I just thought to myself, uh, can I write a script which explains the difference between these three technologies? So when I started writing, I had a lot of doubts because in my mind, I had a vague understanding of what is what but I couldn't be confident putting it down together. So this has been a very good learning experience for me. And I hope you also find this uh, very interesting and useful. So whenever you forget the difference and when you're trying to make an investment decision, come back to this video, have a look at the difference between these three technologies to understand what is good for which kind of a therapy or which kind of a strategy. That said, this video will have follow-up videos in future to dig deeper into each of these technologies to the extent that we need to understand as investors. So with this, I think I would like to get started with the video. Let's get started. Welcome back, friends. I want to explain the differences between CRISPR-Cas9 editing, base editing, and prime editing. These are three different technologies used for uh, genome editing, uh, each uh, with its own advantages and limitations. So CRISPR-Cas9 editing is the first uh, technology that I'd like to talk about. So CRISPR-Cas9 is a revolutionary gene editing tool that utilizes a molecule called Cas9 and a guide RNA uh, to introduce preci uh, precise changes in the DNA sequence. The guide RNA guides the Cas enzyme to a specific target sequence in the genome where it creates a double stranded break in the DNA. This break is then repaired by the cell's natural DNA repair machinery which can introduce uh, insertions, deletions or substitutions at the target site. This process allows researchers to disassemble, modify or insert new genes. The pros of this particular method is that uh, CRISPR-Cas9 is versatile and can be used to edit a wide range of organisms, including animals, plants, and even human cells. In terms of efficiency, it has a high editing efficiency, making it easier to introduce desired changes in the genome. And uh, in terms of ease of use, the CRISPR-Cas9 system is relatively easy to design and implement. Now, if you were to look at the cons, one of the major cons is uh, off-target effects. Cas9 can occasionally bind and cut DNA at the unintended location, leading to undesired mutations. The other thing is limited editing options. While CRISPR-Cas9 can create insertions, deletions, or substitutions, it, it's not uh, well suited for precise changes to individual nucleotides. Now, next, let us look at base editing. Base editing is a modification of the CRISPR-Cas9 system that allows for the precise changes to individual nucleotides in the DNA sequence without creating double standard breaks. Uh, it uh, employs a modified version of Cas9 uh, fused with an enzyme capable of co converting one DNA base to another uh, and um, for example converting a cytosine to thiamine or adenine to guanine. Uh, the modified Cas9 known as a base editor is um, guided to the target site by a guide RNA and it performs a chemical alteration at the DNA base at that site. The pros of this method is that base editing enables specific changes to individual nucleotides offering greater precision as compared to CRISPR-Cas9 editing. And also since base editing does not involve double standard breaks, it, uh, it typically has fewer off-target effects than CRISPR-Cas9. And um, uh, in terms of cons, we can say that base editing can only uh, change specific bases to other bases, limiting the range of possible edits. In terms of efficiency and uh, delivery, base editing can be less efficient than CRISPR-Cas9 and delivery into certain uh, cell tissues uh, or cell types uh, can be challenging. Uh, next, let's look at prime editing. Prime editing is a newer technique that expands the capability of genome editing even further. It allows for very precise nucleotide change as well as insertions or deletions uh, of DNA sequences. 
prime editing uh, utilizes uh, modified cas9 enzyme combined with a prime editing guide rna uh, which is called as peg rna uh, which carries both the desired edit and a reverse transcriptase enzyme the peg rna uh, guides the prime editor to the tar target site and specified the desired edit through the rna sequence the reverse transcriptase then uses the peg rna as a template to synthesize a new dna strand incorporating the desired edit the edited DNA strand is then paired with the original DNA strand, resulting in a modified genomic sequence. The pros of this method is that uh, prime editing allows for precise nucleotide changes, insertions and deletions, offering a wider range of editing options and potentially fewer off-target effects. Prime editing may have fewer off-target eff effects compared to CRISPR-Cas9 due to the absence of double-stranded breaks. In terms of cons, prime editing can be less efficient than CRISPR-Cas9 and its delivery into certain cell types or tissues may still pose a problem. There are additional pros and cons with each of these methodologies, but I just wanted to keep it at high level. For instance, in CRISPR-Cas9, we can talk about areas of the DNA that uh, we cannot uh, edit uh, with double standard breaks because it can cause cancer. So those kind of things I've left out. We're just going to talk at a high level and then we'll have a detailed video on each of the technology at a later date. That said, I would like to show you a table which summarizes the difference and it's a different way of looking at the uh, three technologies and trying to see the strengths and weaknesses of them. So let me show you the table now. Here you can see the table I have uh, and um, you will see that the, in terms of mechanism, uh, CRISPR-Cas9 uh, editing creates double standard breaks, whereas base editing has chemical conversion of individual bases and prime editing has the synthesis of a new DNA strand with edits. And in terms of targeted edits, CRISPR-Cas9 editing uh, involves insertions, deletions and substitutions, whereas base editing involves single nucleotide changes and prime editing involves insertion, deletions and uh, substitutions uh, and um, in, in terms of precision, CRISPR-Cas9 has got moderate precision, whereas base editing has got high precision and prime editing also has high precision. In terms of off-target effects, uh, CRISPR-Cas9 definitely has possible off-target uh, uh, mutations. Uh, base edit, however, has got fewer off-target effects than Cas9, and prime editing has potentially fewer off-target effects. Uh, in terms of editing range, CRISPR-Cas9 has a broad range of editing, whereas base uh, editing is limited to specific base changes. As mentioned, it can only change certain nucleotides. And then when you look at prime editing, it is much broader than uh, base editing. Uh, in terms of editing efficiency, CRISPR-Cas9 is very efficient uh, because it can uh, edit uh, huge chunks. And when it comes to uh, base editing, it is variable depending on the area uh, that it's going to work on. Uh, likewise for prime editing. And in terms of delivery challenges, CRISPR-Cas9 is generally well established uh, with uh, delivery methods. However, uh, people um, uh, in the know always say that uh, the CRISPR-Cas9 molecule is much bigger. So packaging it into an AAV or something is a bit of a challenge. So there is always a search for smaller uh, molecules. So we have got Cas12 and all that uh, coming up and, and being used as uh, micro tools. Uh, now, looking at uh, base editing in terms of delivery challenges, uh, it can be challenging in certain types of uh, cells uh, to deliver base editing. And when it comes to prime editing, uh, there are still challenges with certain types of cells. So both base editing and prime editing have challenges in terms of penetration, but CRISPR-Cas9 is much better than the other two in terms of uh, delivery challenges. Well, friends, that was a very uh, brief uh, uh, update for you on these three technologies. There's a fourth one also which I spoke about yesterday when I was talking about Tessera, that is RNA writing. So uh, that we'll talk about in a separate uh, section altogether. Uh, it's difficult to find the comparison between the latest uh, technologies and the older editing technologies, but I have got a reliable amount of information in this video for you which can be a starter. Later on, we'll uh, dig deep into each of those technologies as and when we get the opportunity. Because as I said in my earlier videos, there is not much happening in the genomic sector in, uh, among the list of companies that we have. So I'll also be looking at new companies um, and uh, bringing them across to you, new genomic companies and new uh, big pharma or biotech companies. So there'll be a little bit of variety out here. So with that, my friends, I'd like to say bye. And if you like this video, please do not hesitate to press a like out there. And if you have not yet subscribed for some reason whatsoever, believe me, it's absolutely free. Just go ahead and press the subscribe button and press the notify button so that you do not miss any of my videos.
Bye for now. 